going to be reading for Aquarius. So for the top three, there was Pisces, Aquarius, um, Leo and Taurus tied again. So those are going to be the top four, I guess, that I'm doing for June. Um, and if you're a past subscriber, welcome back. If you have never seen my channel before, welcome. Um, if whenever you find this reading, it's for you. All my readings are timeless. So we're just going to go ahead and dive right in. Um, oh, I dropped my, <laughs> my water cap. Okay. So the decks that I have today are my Rider weight. I'm so full of energy today. Um, what else? Um, the mermaid deck, my Lemurian love deck that I created with the beautiful, talented Kimber Kiss. I have, um, healing, healing card deck addition to moon mountain gems. Um, it just, it's different crystals and their healing properties. And then for your guys' spirit message, I have this one, the Rumi Oracle. All right, so we're just going to go ahead and dive right in, Aquarius. All right, spirit, we are reading now for Aquarius. What do our beautiful Aquariuses need to know about their love life? What is the most important thing you need Aquariuses to know about their love life? Where did that toilet paper come from? It's weird. Hmm. Let me just move stuff over so I have room to work here. This book. It's like I keep this desk clean and then I come in here and my kids just cluster fuck it. And I'm like, really? Like... <laughs> Uh, so every time I work, I have to clear it off all over. All right, what do we got for Aquarius? What do we got for Aquarius? Thank you for allowing me to be the clearest channel for source messages. Aquarius, why are these cards not shuffling today? Aquarius, what is going on with your energy? All right, Aquarius. What do we got for Aquarius, please? That's the second time I tried to shuffle and blocked. It was blocked. Some of you might be dealing with some blockages and some stagnancy because every time I try to shuffle these cards, there's a they literally get blocked and they won't shuffle. There we go. That was two times. All right, I'm going to cut them really quick. Okay, Aquarius. What do we got for Aquarius? Four cards to start out, please, Spirit. I'm going to do four cards, Aquarius, and then I'm going to put them back in and then I'm going to reshuffle again. To see if any of the same cards come out. Page of Pentacles. <clears throat> Oops. Ooh, Three of Swords. The hell happened there? What is going on? And I have had these cards charging on my Selenite <clears throat> to clear the energy for a minute. And I just charged my Selenite too, the when we had the last uh Full moon, so the energy in these cards are clear. This is definitely your energy coming out. Okay. I feel like you, okay. We have the three of swords. It came out right next to the page of pentacles. It feels like you, hold on one second. Okay, so here's what I'm seeing, Aquarius. You are in this new phase of a relationship that just started where you were just sort of learning about someone. You guys were getting to know each other. And I feel like you really had high hopes that this was going to go and turn into something and it didn't. Okay, that's why I see this heartbreak card. Basically, your intuition was telling you that something was off and you knew that something was off. My camera just froze. That was weird. Your intuition is never wrong. Okay, so you followed your intuition. You said something is not right. It didn't feel right. And so you probably, as you know, you guys are great detectives. And you probably did your own detective work and discovered something about this person 
that you kind of sort of knew all along anyways you could feel it and then when you sort of confronted them about it there was just like this big argument they may have tried to deny it but you were like look this is the proof like I don't even need to even show you the proof because you were just like I know I'm not stupid you know and maybe you felt it and then even when they tried to deny it you were just like laughing inside because you're like you're really gonna try to still play me for a fool even though I know what I'm I know what I know and you literally had the proof of it and they still try to deny it I feel like I couldn't see the wing on this makeup so like clearly I mean so because we got the page of pentacles which shows like this early sort of learning about each other um it came out like this we got well it's page of pentacles and then the three of swords see using your intuition to because you felt something wasn't right okay and then here is this the argument the confrontation so i'm going to put these cards back in here and we're going to reshuffle again and see if spirit has any more messages for you what do we have for aquarius and you know honestly if this connection did not work out it's because there's another connection that is better meant for you and you know it really sucks because i feel like aquarius has had a really big struggle last year and this year with you know relationships and love so not fun i mean i feel like a lot of the signs have but um aquarius especially has had you know and you guys you know nobody deserves that especially aquarius you guys are fucking phenomenal all right um, do you have any more messages for Aquarius about this connection? Do you have any more messages for Aquarius about this connection? Please. Four more cards. After this, I'm going to... Ooh, oh my god, it came out again. Look at that. It came out again. It flew out this time, Aquarius. Wow. So there is definitely a lot of pain and clearing going on. <clears throat> I just felt this really like tight constriction in my throat. And this pain sort of here in this area. Um, ooh, okay. Oh, we got eight of swords. So a lot of you right now are playing these last moments in your head it's feeling very painful and that's that's normal it's to be expected like um anytime you have expectations and hopes and they're they're you know just dashed out the door like that it's almost like and especially if you um you know spoke to this person every day it's almost like this feeling of like a death where like you're you're you know saying goodbye to what you thought was so if you're having trouble sort of letting go and replaying those moments back in your head, that's completely normal. It's okay to feel those feelings, Aquarius, and sort of um, allow yourself space to feel the feelings before you're ready to move on and heal. That's, that's how you heal. All right. We have the chariots and three of pentacles. All right, can we get one more card, Spirit? After this, I'm going to draw a card to see how you're currently feeling about this person. And I'm going to draw one card to see how they're currently feeling about you, okay? One more card, please, Spirit. Can we get one more card? Oh, two of cups. Wow. So this regardless of what happened between you guys this is a very very strong connection this is the card that came out when i asked for the last card from spirit so you guys are perfectly still perfectly suited to each other um or at least that's how you feel I and mean, the connection is definitely a very strong soul connection um the chariot came out with three of pentacles so i feel like some of you might be like traveling for work. Um, 
maybe like some kind of um, partnership with someone in the near future. <sighs> All right, I'm going to put these cards back. Now, the Two of Cups, I don't know if that's like a new connection or if that's the connection that you're feeling with this person still. So I'm going to go ahead and shuffle these cards one more time and ask, um, how is Aquarius feeling about this person right now? The person on Aquarius' mind, how are they feeling right now, Spirit? Can you give me one card to sort of clarify how Aquarius is feeling about this person right now? The Two of Cups is on the bottom of the deck. It's crazy. Whoa. Okay, so this card just flew out. So you are not looking back. You're feeling like you want to move on and go forward from this person. You know, though the connection felt really deep. And now I'm, I don't know, like this, the two of cups could be a future connection. Maybe when you go to travel to do this partnership, you'll meet someone else and it's going to be this two of cups. So I'm not quite clear on that energy and spirit's not really showing me. But as far as this old connection, this person that's on your mind, you are definitely ready to move on. You're just like, I'm done. You want anything to do with them? Let me see how they feel about you right now. <clears throat> All right. We get a card, um, the person on Aquarius is mine. How are they feeling about Aquarius right now? Can you tell me how this person is feeling about Aquarius right now? The person on their mind. How are they feeling right now about Aquarius? How does this person feel, Spirit? One card is about how they feel. One card, Spirit. One card. One card to sum up how they feel, please. One card. Just one. Ooh. Ooh, two of them came out. So they feel like you guys were meant to be, and they feel like um, they should have came forward sooner and told you the truth. They're having some serious regrets about not telling you the truth. See, we got Ace of Swords. So this is like telling the truth. It's a sort of truth. And, you know, the Wheel of Fortune literally shows me, like, they felt like you guys were fated and meant to be together. And they, so they really feel a lot of regret. Like, they feel like, damn, I should have just told the truth in the beginning and we wouldn't be where we're at. But, you know, the wheel turns. It's always turning. And, you know, they, oh, look and see what's on the bottom of the deck. Five of Swords. Is that Five of Swords? Yeah. So, yeah, they were definitely dishonest. Look. And now, look what's also underneath the Five of Swords. They're having a lot of sleepless nights. Wow. And look at this. It's because they saw you as this beautiful empress and they know they screwed up. Oh, Aquarius. Yeah. This is going to have a regret there. Okay. So, I think I honestly am leaning towards... When you go to travel, um, recently when you go out to travel, I feel like you're going to be traveling for work. I think you're going to come across a new connection. I think that's what this whole Two of Cups is. So I'm going to pull a card um, and see. I'm going to pull a card from this one. And see how that person, this new energy that's coming in, feels about you. I already got, we already got the two of cups about them. So they obviously have some really strong feelings for you, Aquarius. And this two of cups is a deep, deep connection. So this could be, you know, whatever you want to call it, the soulmate, twin flame, like big connection that you're, you've been waiting on. All right, let's see what they have to say. Okay. What you got for a spirit? I'm just going to hold these cards over here and see if anything flies out. Ooh. All right. So we have, thank you for loving me. So there's, oh my God, look what came out in the bottom of the deck. I fucked up. I'm sorry. <laughs> this other person keeps trying to push their energy through Aquarius and it's really annoying. Like I almost want to tell them to fuck off because it's like they just keep pushing their their energy into this reading. I mean, literally, look, you can't make it up. It's in the bottom of the deck. 
But this new person is saying to you, oh my God, look what else was sticking out. It says, you have bewitched me. So this new connection, they're going to be so grateful that they have you. This card literally says, thank you for loving me. And I feel a lot of like gratitude where it's almost like they're going to feel like they don't believe that someone like you sees anything in them. They're going to be like, what is she seeing me? Like, she's so amazing. And it's funny because... I feel like they have a lot going on too, but they don't see themselves how you see them. You know how sometimes like um, when you are in a relationship with someone or you just start dating them and you sort of are like so dazzled by them, you think to yourself like, what do they see in me? Like, and But even though you know that you're great and you're amazing, right? But still you're just thinking like, you know, God, like this person is so amazing and you know, I feel like that's how they're going to feel about you. They're going to be like, what is she seeing me? But they're going to be so grateful that they have your love. They're not going to take you for granted. And it's because of this. They're literally going to be so dazzled. They see you as like this goddess, like star, like, um, I mean, I just keep seeing like this Egyptian goddess with like jewels up all on her head and they see you as almost this like Isis, like Cleopatra type energy and they're just completely smitten. So I wouldn't put any more energy into this. <laughs> just saying. All right, I'm going to pull a crystal healing card for you guys and then I'm going to do your spirit message. I'm going to call it a reading. Um, can we get a crystal healing card for Aquarius, please? Crystal healing card for Aquarius. One crystal healing card for Aquarius. What um, crystal can they use to heal themselves right now, Spirit? What do they need to focus on? This one, please. Oh, I'm going to try to keep these readings under 20 minutes because you guys seem to like the shorter ones. They get more views. Amber. So it resonates with the solar plexus chakra. The chemistry is CHO with impurities. Resin from prehistoric trees that has fossilized. They may have inclusions of animal and or plant matter. Ooh, beautiful. Beneficial for your memory, intellect, depression, trust, vitality, throat, stomach, bladder, liver, and joint problems. The healing properties of amber. Amber has strong connections to the earth. See? It cleans the environment and the chakras. It grounds higher energies and draws disease from the body. It transforms the negative energies into positive to help the body heal itself. So it's almost like a detoxing stone. So you guys can use that to sort of draw energy from the earth, like up and ground you. So it, it comes up through the feet, like the root chakra, and then all the way up to the crown chakra and sort of detoxifies as it goes along. Beautiful. All right, so we're going to do your Rumi Oracle spirit message, and we are going to call this reading. I hope everything works out in this messy little love thing we have going on for you, Aquarius. All right, what is the final message that you have for Aquarius? What is the final message you have for our Aquariuses? Please. Oops. Ooh, that one flew out. Y'all's energy is beautiful now. The right choice. You cannot make it up. I told you, make the right choice, Aquarius. Look at that. And that is definitely some very strong, angelic, archangel energy coming out to tell you, Aquarius, make the right choice. You know what you need to do deep in your heart of hearts. Um, and for some of you, I don't know, maybe it's if your person didn't fuck up that much, the one that keeps coming through, then by all means, use your intuition and use your heart space to determine whether they do deserve another chance. It's card number 29. So if you add it up, it's master number 11. Nine and two is 11. I'm just going to read a few snippets from this, like the poem part to you. And anything else I feel guided to. For those of you that are having trouble moving on, you can call upon Archangel Chamuel, which is an archangel that I have been dealing with recently and or I did for like the past two weeks. Um, I'm going to be working with some new archangels now, but Archangel Chamuel 
um, helps you to find your twin flame or your soulmate. So you can reach out to him. Um, and if you Google Archangel Chamuel on YouTube, there's lots of prayers, invocations, and music that will help you to draw Archangel Chamuel into your energy field. All right, 29, the right choice. Stay close to those who know about the heart. Choose the shade of a tree that is in constant bloom. Don't meander aimlessly among the herb sellers and potion vendors. Go directly to the shop that sells nothing but sweets. Mm -mm. Don't sit waiting by every boiling pot to have your plate filled. Not every boiling pot is cooking what you want. Not every sugar cane is filled with sugar. Not every down has an up. Not every eye has vision. Not every sea contains pearls. Wow. And then there's another little thing here that I want to read to you. It says, within you, I recognize my most trusted friend. Ah, we go back a long way to before that moment when time began. We knew each other then, even before time was born. So I say, hello, my old and dear friend. So lovely for us to meet again. And I feel how your heart responds with a wave of love. For it is that love that is you, my most trusted friend. Oh, and listen to this. On the path of love, there is not so much wrong and right in the moral sense, so much as is what is wrong or right for you. The mind cannot help so much here. Only the heart can speak such truths. Wow, I'm going to finish reading this. Um, the mind may reject the right choice of the heart and it may recoil, analyze, and find all the reasons why the simple truth, the right choice of the heart, cannot possibly work and only lead to pain. This is what the mind does rather well, actually, but it doesn't mean the right choice. The heart choice becomes incorrect. It means, rather, that the heart has outsmarted the mind and the mind will need to bow to the heart, even without understanding its sometimes impenetrable mysteries. Or one can choose to stay in inner conflict, fighting against the right choice, but eventually love will prevail and the way forward must be taken. Oh my God, it's beautiful. I hope that helped you in some way, Aquarius. Such beautiful, loving energy. If you guys want to book a reading for me, from, from me, um, I have my website now, so you can just click on the link below in the description box. If you click this little arrow, it's going to pop up um, all of my description box. There is my link there if you want to tip me. There is my Patreon if you want to join me on there, and I am working on the sexual energy reads. I have Pisces already uploaded. Um, I was trying to decide whether or not I was going to do all the signs for this month because I have a lot going on and then, you know, spirit brought me right back. So I am going to try to fit all the 12 signs in, um, and the sexual energy reads. So I'm just doing a lot of transmuting and stuff, but if you want to check out my Etsy shop, my Patreon, tip me or to book a reading with me, all of those are linked in my description box below. As long as, um, and also my son's channel as well. All right. Um, I love you so much, Aquarius. And I hope that this gave you some clarity as to your next step in regards to your love life. Bye.